I slept like a baby. I always sleep like a baby. How'd you sleep? Terrible. Terrible. According to Casey slash onesie, she had two hours of sleep, so this is gonna be an interesting day. It didn't help that she went to bed very late though, watching TV and shows and all that. She couldn't sleep, so I'm not blaming her. But it's gonna be quite a big day, 18 and a half miles. We're making it to that fire tower. It's called Rich Mountain Camp and there's a campsite but then there's a point two side trail up the mountain to a fire tower we're gonna see if we can actually tent at the fire tower or even inside the fire tower Cause that would be cool if we get to sleep in the fire tower the next day we're gonna wake up at 5 30 to see the sunrise and as soon as the sun comes up and we get enough of the sunrise we're gonna get up pack up our things and go in the hot springs really early because it's only eight miles in the hot springs. And we're gonna go eat at the Smoky Mountain Diner. And we're gonna get some really good breakfast because I hear they have large portions for really good prices. Our motivation today is a fire tower. Our motivation tomorrow is food. You know how it is. There's not much to motivate us out here. So we're almost done packing up our things and we're gonna hit the trail. Most importantly, There's not any scary clouds in the sky right now, and even if there were, it's still going to be a beautiful day. So we're at some shelter. I looked for the name, can't find the name. We're gonna have lunch here. And then it's 11.2 to our final destination. You can do the math on how much we've done already. Eat this delicious tuna fish lunch and we'll get back to it. just passed a book laying on the ground. It's in a bag and it says free. I get the point of what people are trying to do. It's a Christ book, Steps to Christ, How to Follow God, things like that. Don't leave it out here. Nobody's gonna pick it up, especially this year. There's not enough through hikers to go around for someone to think, hmm, I really need that. I'm gonna take it. So whoever left that, they're basically littering. I'm not bashing God. I'm not bashing anything like that. I believe in God, but that's not the way to do it. Don't leave the book in the middle of the woods. Leave it at the trailhead where it's next to a garbage can and a trail maintainer can walk by and be like, hmm, this book has been here for a week. Let me throw it in the garbage because nobody's definitely gonna read it. And if you're doing trail magic, don't leave your cooler in the woods with the food and the soda in it. I get it, it's COVID and everything's going on. I mean, you could leave it in there, but make sure to come back and get it. Cause we've passed a lot of coolers and they're destroyed because the bears have gotten to them 
because the owner never came back to pick up his cooler. There's ways to go about this better, people. That's all I'm saying. That mountain we were climbing, it was kicking my butt. I was not in a good mood at all. Hold on a second. Oh. Uh, <laughs> got to the shelter and I met Muck Fishigan. That's his trail name. I don't know if any of you guys are following people on Instagram, but this dude is doing a yo-yo. He started in Georgia, okay? He goes all the way to Katahdin. That's 2,193 miles. Normally, people get to Katahdin and then they go home. Muck Fishigan got to Katahdin, turned around, and kept walking down to Georgia. That's a yo-yo. I give him a lot of credit. He already has about 3,000 miles under his belt. Muck Fishigan, I wish you the best of luck. You're a cool dude and you deserve to make it. I don't even want to do it. We made it. I am so spent. I don't even have enough energy to do that famous, we made it. That's the best I can do. Behind me, behind me, in front of me, in front of me. It's all beautiful. And it was a butt kicker to get here. 18 and a half miles. My feet hurt. It took 76 days, 77, I don't know what day it is. 76, 77. And I finally have three blisters. They're not too bad though, and the only reason I have them is because my darn tough socks have finally taken a dump on me. After two years, my darn tough socks have finally called it quits. Rest in peace, darn tough socks. I don't really have much energy left to, to talk. Casey's making, Casey slash onesies making dinner right now. Thank you for watching my pain for your enjoyment. That's it. Have a good night. And we'll see you tomorrow. White snow, red sky, reach up for so, so high.